Alright guys, I'm here. I'm pretty much ready to go, but I've been uh, using Axel TV to let people know like when my streams are starting and supposedly ending. And uh, trying to stay on whatever schedule I set at least for that day. So we won't actually be starting the game at least until 5 p.m. Which is two minutes away. But I like having the uh, broadcast up early, or at least a little bit before that, just so people can... Uh, join the channel and experience it as close to the beginning of the game as possible especially uh, large story based games like this but I am archiving this shit up to uh, YouTube so um, hey Elite Z Viper I think you watched me play episode 1 of this game anyway so you are in time for uh, episode two, and welcome to the stream, Pick Me Ten. Glad to see a new face. Make yourself comfortable. We are one minute away from game time. I'll go ahead and uh, get my little text off and get rid of my viewport window here. And, um, yeah, shit, I had fun playing episode one. Probably made some poor decisions, probably made some good decisions. Oh, you didn't watch me play episode one? Well, it's being archived up to YouTube, man. You could watch the YouTube here on Twitch. Of course, if you watch it on YouTube. Um, I've got ads enabled over there. My account's all monetized and shit. It's one way to support me. And uh, obviously, I want to grow on YouTube as well. Growth, man. That's what I'm all about these days. Alright, so we are about to begin episode two here. We're still Alright, it's five o'clock. It's basically showtime. People are showing up. Let's go ahead and get this started. I'm hoping that I can complete this episode in under two hours as well. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now yeah, I saw you, uh, when you stopped by from earlier. a legendary artisan of chaos. It's pretty cool that it gives a recap the of the previous remains, episode. Will it be enough to save the world? Fuck yeah, it will be enough. We know we're going to save the world. I mean, what other options are there? So, Axel and uh, Jesse, the main character here, we're going off in search oh, come of Magnus. On, Jesse. You're not even having a little fun? I mean, I am! I mean, sure, the world's in danger, but this is our chance to be heroes. That's the spirit! If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. That means we need to get to Magnus as soon as freaking possible. You know what? You're right. We're gonna find Magnus, bring him back, and he'll totally know how to blow that thing sky high. Uh, dude! <gasps> God damn it. More bullshit. Oh! 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 Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> Hide! Episode 2 ah! seems louder than episode Why 1 for some reason. Why does so much? The minecarts! God damn it. Hurry! Use something on that gas. Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? Just, um, uh, don't miss, okay? I don't want it to hate us even more. Uh, I understand, man. <laughs> Shit, I did not push left. Well, uh, says I did anyway. Right, 
let's fight this fucking thing. Take that, motherfucker. Shit. God damn it. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I wonder if in episode one, if I had made a bow and arrow instead of a fishing rod, if I could have uh, used that against the gas that there. Gas and chasing the minecart? That is like the perfect warm up for when we get to Boomtown. Boomtown? Yeah! Boomtown! Boomtown. Now, so, seriously, if you guys notice me at any point talking and you can't hear what the fuck I'm saying, let me know if this I'm on mute it. or not, because I never know anymore, because my goddamn LED shorted on on me. I liked it when you went first last time. Maybe you should take this one again. Yeah. And now it got quiet on us again. It started off real loud. This one's opening sequence starts much sooner than I'm used to. Okay, on step. And it's interactive. That's also kind of new. Man. Complete and total chaos. Wow, a cactus. You don't see these back home. I take it as a souvenir, but I don't want to stick it in my pants. Yeah, Good that call, would suck. Buddy. They're probably not okay. And if they're not, at least they died doing what they love. At least that. Wow. This explosion looks really fresh. It smells fresh, too. How does anyone live here? Are they nuts? They're adventurous, Jesse. It's awesome. The fuck? I've like looked at and interacted with everything I fucking can here. What more do they want from me? Do all these belong to different griefers? Well, here you have it, Jesse. Boomtown in all its glory. What do you think? It's like, like I've it's finally come kinda home. Kind of crazy. These are my people. And listen to that. They speak my language. Wow, Boomtown sure does keep you on your toes. Exciting stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah, now you're getting it. Yeah, I was just saying what I thought you would like me to say there. I don't actually think that. I think Boomtown is a scary fucking place and I'd like to get out of here as soon as possible. Dude, it's freaking glowing! Yeah, well, the green part is. That's weird. Yeah. 
<laughs> you think and Boomtown is booming? Brighter when I move it in certain directions. Easy does it. Easy. Maybe to the left. No, the right. I mean your left. Right, I mean. Your right. About left. Axel? You're stressing me out with that. How fucking bright does it need to get? I mean, like, I've pretty much got it about as bright as I fucking can here. What the fuck do you want from me, game? Whoa. Whoa! Ding, ding, ding! Looks like that spire is where we'll find Magnus. Hey there, new people. You, uh, you said you know where Magnus is? All the griefers here in Boomtown want to find Magnus, you know. Whoa, how long have you been there? I think, you see, we're looking for him. Yeah, we're on important business. I hope it's not to give a fashion consultation, because... Sheesh. What's going on? Nor found some noobs with a thingy that can find Magnus. We're not noobs. You guys are assholes. Bunch of scavengers. This drop is mine. Well, how about you help us, huh? I promise it's to help save the world. Yeah. Sounds complicated. I prefer you just handing over the thingy. I'd prefer you choke on a dick and die. Get back here with that. I need that thing. Come back. Oh, mighty Magnus. I have for you this offering. No! <laughs> you lost our order of the stone thingy, you <laughs> dumb bitch. Yeah. Going the same way, they're working together. This is just how we do it in Boomtown. Which one took the amulet? Hmm. I'll get the one with the fishing pole, you get the little blue haired creep. Think fast! Whoa! Your training is coming along. Ah! God damn it. Just give me the amulet. I pushed Jeez, down. Pal, no need to shout. What's up, Blue Here's OCD? A reasonable conversation! Whoa. My turn! <laughs> oh, shit, I probably could have jumped on him there. Boy, howdy, you are one weird cat. Guess I jumped on his ass anyway. <laughs> Thanks to Reuben. And the blue-haired freak gets it again. After her! Hey, did Nor come this way? Yeah, and she had the amulet again. Stop right there! How about... no? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't make a bow and arrow, you evil bitch. Ah, these bricks will take forever to punch through. Luckily, I think I found us a punch-free entrance. Let's climb this vine. Sorry guys, but I've been trying to find Magnus for way too long for you to stop me now. You are crazy, you know that? Oh, so bad. Jesse, look out! Way too close! You know what you remind me of? This song I had stuck in my head once. I just couldn't get it to go away. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man! Well, you remind me of boils on the ass. <sighs> and you need to go away. Okay, little amulet. Show me the way. Of course, not sure what I'll do when I get there, but that's future Norse problem. Ah! Uh, Give me the fucking amulet, you whore! More important than you know. Uh-oh! Again! Right? Boils on the ass. I mean, who wants boils on the ass? That's how much I want this fucking blue-haired chick to be ah, a part of this nice. game. What did I tell you about teamwork? What? But I'm the one who said we should work together! No, you didn't! Got it! 
I actually got it! Quick! Flush him out! Man, just trying to blow me up at every fucking opportunity. Crazy fuckers. Well, let's just keep making our way to the tall, dark spire. That's old Magnus is somewhere in that building above us. He's gotta be close. Then quick, toss me the amulet. You're surrounded by griefers and they're gonna tear you apart. Well... Just don't lose it. Hey, don't worry about me. I got this. You just keep them distracted. At the top! Yeah! That's where I saw it! I love a good table turn. Excellent. Oh no you don't! Get back here! Eat that, motherfucker. Well, hello, opportunity. Traps. Jesse, you made it. And he took one you to the knee. You sound so surprised. Do you have the amulet? Of course. Me and the pig, we totally rocked it. Well, I'm glad everyone's safe. Good boy, Reuben. Magnus, here we come. I wonder what the hell that sound effect was for. Huh. Maybe it's, I don't know, locked or something. That's a thing people do to important doors, right? And that was dramatic. Fine. Knocking worked. For once. So it seems. Let's get in there. Right behind you. Let's do this. Ah! Oh, fuck. Ah! <laughs> Damn it, Reuben. What if that fell in the lava? You are completely surrounded by hundreds of hidden death traps. One step closer, and kaboom! It's Magnus! We totally got caught by Magnus! Uh, oh. We're gonna die now. Did you really think you could sneak up on me? Ha! You're two of the worst griefers I've ever met. And a pig? Really? Hardly stealthy. Hey, no griefers here. <laughs> no way. We came from way out of town to find you. Oh, really? I mean, that guy? He's got grief for written all over him. Man, you don't know how much that means to me. Yeah, well, that's because he's your biggest fan. Look at him. I mean, not like biggest fan right so tell me something not griefers how'd you find me you working with someone or maybe you bribed another griefer gabriel sent us on this mission gabriel <laughs> you're seriously telling me you're buddy buddy with gabriel you know how often people try and tell me that one this is all sounding pretty weird dudes <laughs> who are you really why are you here? I want answers. Now. And just give it to me straight. The world is being destroyed. You have me intrigued. Go on. 
There's a huge monster eating up the entire world and nothing can stop it. That's why Gabriel told us to reunite the Order. Magnus, you've got to come with us. You might be the only chance we have. Give me one reason why, for even a second, I should come with you. I am the ruler of this place. You're supposed to be a hero, Magnus, and right now, the world needs a hero. Yeah. You can come with us and help stop this disaster. You're kind of All being an asshole, Magnus. You, told, you expect me to just take your word for it? Two strangers with wild stories, and nothing to show for it. Except an amulet. That's not theirs. Magnus, every word of what I'm saying is true. You have to believe me. Okay, okay, you sold me. I'm in. Oh, but we might have a little bit of a problem getting out of here. <laughs> Huh? You're Magnus. You can just walk out of here. Hello? I don't know if you've looked around this place, but uh, it's kind of full of griefers. But that's kind of awesome, right? <laughs> no. You've heard about the whole challenging the king for his crown thing, right? It's like their thing. So long as I'm king, I can't leave this town. I know how you feel. No, you don't. Sneak you out. Spot me. Look, I'm too good and they're too eager. It's like a vicious cycle that just keeps me here. Man, we should have gone after the other one. That's life as king of Boomtown. <laughs> Not as fun as you'd think. I mean, hey, I do get to spit on their heads occasionally. So I guess that's something. Nice. You're my hero. Couldn't you just let them win? I've beaten them dozens of times. No one would believe it. But you, huh, you're the newcomer with the gold amulet. By now, there'll probably be all sorts of rumors about how awesome you are. If you beat me, then I'll be able to leave. Can't believe I didn't think of it before. How would I ever beat you? <laughs> I know, right? But that's just it. I've been getting more and more addicted to Reddit lately. Oh, this is My favorite subreddit right now is Glitch in the Matrix, where people this. talk about crazy shit that legit. happens. Legit. Not necessarily like ghost shit, but like, you know, seen. weird shit like... So I was walking down the street and I passed this guy, and he kind of gave me a weird look. And then two minutes later, I passed the same guy again, and there's no way that could have happened. It's like a cheap example, but... This that's is what I read sometimes at night when I'm bored. To the Death Bowl! In one corner we have Magnus, your king of Boomtown! Prepared to defend his title and crown! So, Tiny, welcome to the Death Bowl. The grief off to end all grief offs. How do you want to think of this? How are we gonna fool? What's your uh, grand plan? Better lay it on me quick! Griefers aren't known for their patience. Just try and lay off, like, the crazy cannons or anything like that, okay? Keep it small. Manage. Uh, something about cannons. Got it! No cannons. <laughs> you got it! And you! What name do you go by? Uh, I'm gonna need a name. I am Jesse the Destroyer, and I am here to destroy my competition. You heard the name, folks. Give a big death ball welcome to the Destroyer! Then let's begin! Alright, I'm gonna have to pretend kick Magnus' ass. Their own griefing towers, which they will then use to grief each other. The only rule is. There are no rules! <laughs> no eye poking! Other than that, go crazy! Seriously. Oh, destroyer! Pick your building material, and Magnus, you... Nah, I'm good. I brought my own supply. Let the griefing begin! 
wood, some stone, some oh, pink wool. Well, Reuben seems to want us to pick pink wool. Pink wool it is. Which seems to be the worst of the available options, but whatever. That's what Reuben wanted. Not bad. Not bad. Guess and he's have my to best do. friend. Axel, what are you doing over there on his side? Yeah, thought you might bring that up. It's just that Reuben wanted to take your corner, and I didn't want to crowd him or anything, so I thought I'd um watch from over here. Take your best shot! What? That's how you shouldn't throw an egg. Ha! You grief with me, you grief with the best! Right in the back of the head. I am about to destroy you, Destroyer. Is that what they call ironic? Luckily, you won't destroy me, so we won't have to find out. You are but a student! Prepare yourself, for I am here to give you your final lesson. Ah! Um, that was <laughs> just a Bye bye announcer. What? A warning that you need glasses? It seems the student has become the master, and the mighty destroyer will win the day. I don't know what that means, but I love it and want to put it on a t-shirt! I have only one option here. Oh, you yeah. asshole! Nobody messes with the Boom Master! Uh -oh. Jesse! Jesse, you okay? Had Just fine. enough yet? Alrighty! I think noob time is over. Luck sometimes visits the most unskilled of us, but it never lingers. Skill, mastery. These are the things that will see you defeated! Magnus, crack the cannon! Yeah! Finish it with a cannon! If it's a cannon you want, it's a cannon you'll get! But he said no cannons. Yep, he's completely lost. Dude's going for the kill. Jesse, you'd better craft the, I don't know, greatest thing of your life. Like, right now. Well, there's right. still some material in the chest. <laughs> the greatest thing of our life. And we're working with pink wool. That's it, Jesse, go! Axel, check it out. Ha! <laughs> that should hold him. Yeah, it's, yeah, um, yeah, it might do, but Jesse, look. <laughs> what the fuck? Supposed to throw the... <laughs> Magnus is gone completely crazy. Jesse, look out! <laughs> Stop it, dude. against the king of the griefers and you pick oh ha that's hilarious and thematically appropriate with your training by barnyard animals get up no big once again out. Ruben saves the day stuff. I got cool stuff coming your way I got you a bow and some arrows bow nice can and fight there are all sorts of cliché lines about this. Yeah, but the TNT inside the cannon. TNT plus arrow. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think we're about to blow Magnus sky well high. You fly, pig. Ruben! No. Boom! You fucker! I got you. I got you. Man, you smell delicious right now. Hey, Magnus. Yeah. Eat my arrow. Stuff. Choke on it. 
flying pig jokes are totally played out. Get fucker. No! Hey, welcome back to the stream, Sticky Spree. We have a winner! The Destroyer! Pink wool for the win. Say something there, champ? It's just the winner sometimes, I don't know, gives a speech. Hello, Boomtown. How we all doing, huh? Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. I I'm so proud to be standing in front of you all today. Well, you guys ready then? Oh, yeah! This'll be a way easier target than Magnus. Wait. What's going on? Oh, well, that's not good. Holy crap! Is that your wither storm? How are we? What are we? Let's... Ah! Oh, Magnus isn't much of a hero. He's more no, a dick than anything. No, 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 no! Stop eating my kingdom! What? Magnus, come on! You'll regret messing with Boomtown! Go! Figures that we'd get saved by the very thing that's destroying the world. Back at the temple. Okay, just a little farther. Lucas, or uh, yeah, Lucas and wow. Olivia were hanging out here. Someone really went bonkers with the defenses, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's hope that um, Who goes Petra there? is safe. Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, hey, we're back. I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Magnus! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra? Yay, Petra! Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> Petra! You made it! It's good to see you too, big guy. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. Why didn't you just go through the portal? Gabriel telling you where to go. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but... Weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. It even got Gabriel. God damn it! We lost Gabriel. Wow, been a That's while. That's shitty since shit. What is she doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. Um, I forgot to mention, Olivia went on a little expedition of her own while you were gone. And this Olivia person came back with her? Did you know about this? Did Eligard put you up to this? You think you know a guy, and then, bam. Everyone just coming and going around here. And this is a problem? <laughs> you bet your butt it's a problem. 
No way am I working with her. Not after. Jesse, Jesse, look, I found Eligard. Just hang on a sec. So I wonder okay. what would have happened if we picked we'll Eligard. Obviously, the whole start of episode two would have been very different. So this game definitely has a lot of replay value. That means we'll be playing it again, more streams, different so paths. Who are you now? And why did you bring him with you? We are reuniting the Order of the Stone. It was kind of crazy, actually. I went to Redstonia, and there were all these incredible engineers and inventors. It was a little intimidating, actually. But Eligard's made me her protege. Well, assistant for now. I mean, after what happened. I know, I'm sorry. So sorry. Well, I'm the king of Boomtown. Very impressive. She might have, well, embarrassed herself. A tiny bit. Yeah. But after I pled my case, she agreed to take me on as her assistant and come back to help. Not bad, right? Oh, hooray! It's Ellie, and here I was just starting to enjoy myself. Hello, Magnus. Your voice is exactly as pleasant as I remember, which is to say, not at all. Oh, my feelings. Is that the same wit you're going to use to save... So this is actually reminds Why? me of episode 5 of Tales from the Borderlands from oh, Telltale Games, where uh, Handsome Thank Jack you. is telling you, I never meet your er heroes, kid. They're all assholes, every last one of them. Hey. That's Eligard you're talking to. And this Show game is definitely uh, proving that point. Wow. You finally found yourself a live one. Hey. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. No uh, shit. People, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. Yeah, I'll admit. That thing looked real nasty. And I've seen some nasty stuff in my time. Too much for you, was it? Your usual brutish approach didn't cut it? Hey, you weren't there, all right? You didn't see how this thing just tore everything up. You've never seen anything like it. Hey, hey, yes, it's scary, but it's nothing we can't handle, all right? We're gonna do this. Okay, how? Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. I don't know if you've looked around yet, but this place isn't nearly the stronghold it used to be. Most of our supplies are gone. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But even if we had all the TNT for miles around, I don't know if it would be enough. Only Soren were here. He might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. Wait, Magnus, I want to hear what she's saying. Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. Well, I guess we need to find Soren, or at least his, uh, Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. The F-bomb. Yeah. yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. But I've never seen Do you know where it is? Can we get some? Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Afraid not. Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. How are you, Petra? Fine. You don't look fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Her bitch is always like that. What's wrong? Nothing. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? Okay, I'm then. hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Hey, Magnus. Hey, small fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. 
Yeah, we already turned it on. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm... But I would like to talk to everyone before I turn it on. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Well, you're about to. How are you holding up? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on, well, I'll just think I'm completing this. How does Petra seem to you? Not great, I guess. But she has been through a lot. Yeah, but you saved her. You did an amazing thing, Jesse. Let's go fuck with these switches. Maybe a different order of switches will reveal a different thing on the map. Well, I don't know. Alright, there's your light, my light. Soren! There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the Order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that, at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. That's probably the only time you made the right call. Stop hanging around here and go get us some super tea and Oh, shit. Whoa. Is Gabriel still alive then? It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Who is that? Or is it Ivor? Oh, no. That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move. It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Perfect. We can wait till tomorrow morning and travel with a full day's sunlight. Uh, and where's that thing catching up with us? I think I've had enough. Hey, can one of you guys uh, ban that you. stupid hey, spam bot? Getting caught out there in the dark is so much better. Trust me. If you had seen this thing, you wouldn't want to stick around. Trust me. If you had a brain, you'd want to God minimize damn it. our chance of being caught out in the dark with all the monsters. Let's go now. I don't want the weather storm catching up with us. We should go now. Jesse here's talking a lot of sense. Let's just go with that plan. You're just saying that because it's your plan, but fine. Also, we've got uh, Ivor going after Soren, so we kind of need to hurry. Thank you, whoever uh, got around to banning that fuck. Thank you, Elite. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Jesse, right? Oh, hello. We haven't had the chance to acquaint ourselves properly. I hear that you saved your friend Petra from this wither storm. Sounds like you're a pretty impressive individual. Picks fights with lots of monsters? Always defending the weak and defenseless? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. I can always appreciate humility. I like you. In any case, I sort of wish that you had taken my side earlier, but water under the bridge and all that. Yeah, I know it's dangerous moving so at night. Tangent. What's the uh, deal with your friend Olivia? But like I, I said, I made my decision because people. we got to get to Soren as quick as possible. Less because so I was afraid of the weather storm. Eager to jump in and help, which is sweet, of course. Though sometimes I wish she would think a bit more before jumping in, especially when she keeps getting in over her head. Olivia's one of my best friends. She's smart. She always has a plan. Oh, wow. Interesting. So, why didn't you listen to her plan to come and recruit me? Not to make it awkward or anything. Or to demand, why didn't you want to recruit me? <laughs> I figured that we needed firepower. No one knows destruction better than Magnus. The man does know how to blow things up with reckless abandon, that's for sure. I'll do my best to not let it hurt my feelings. 
Joke. Oh, chill out. That was a joke. Every little thing you do in this game, you're either gonna... It's... It's... No, like... Make everyone happy path. You're either pissing one person off and make it to make another person happy, yep. exactly or vice versa. Out. And exactly why we should have waited till morning. We can At fight them. Weather storm isn't tearing us apart right now. All right. And we got to get to Soren quick. Hash all that out later. We got some monsters to fight here, people. Right. Let's talk more fighting. We're going in. Probably gonna end up needing Ivor's help as well, so whatever. He's a douche, but he's got his reasons for being a douche, and so far all of these heroes have been douchebags. Soren really lived down here? Man, so, so futuristic. Anyone? Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> what the hell is wrong? With Petra. Yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Good jump, Ruben. Oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. God damn it, no! Hang on, I'm coming! I've got you, Ruben! Crazy. Looks like Ruben thought so too. Yeah, I'm fine. How about you, Ruben? What a rush. Whoa. Look. What is that? Enderman. What are they doing down there? I'm not sure. But I'm glad we're not a part of it. Come on, we should get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow, this architecture, it's incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. Looks like Thorn's so far the coolest of all these heroes. Oh, be quiet! It's just a pointless building! That's all I'm saying! I mean, look Madness, at- Madness, if an artist painted the inside of your mind, that's it! I'm going! Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this- It keeps skipping a lot of these conversations on its oh, own. no, no, no! You do not get to be the one who walks away! That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are yeah. we gonna do now? I think the Where heroes are all assholes. Let's figure it out. Petra 
sure doesn't look so good. Hey, Petra. Hey. You okay? It's obvious you're not. I'm glad he came along, even if it did take a bit of persuading. If they made a statue of me, I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. This place is a dream come true for Lucas. Look at him. He's loving it. the rogue, Eligard the engineer, Gabriel the warrior. How the fuck are we going to do this without Gabriel the warrior? All right, if I talk to him Speaking again, a place like this, underground, weird. Jesse, isn't this incredible? I can't believe we're actually here. Yes, yes, it's incredible. Let's go down. It won't let me. The fuck? Okay. I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. But let's put up. bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this one. Alright, we'll spit it's it out. A little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. You got me away from the wither storm. Not sure, Elite Z Viper. I am streaming at an odd hour for myself, and I don't think this is the most popular game as far as the viewers on the regular viewers I have anyway. It showed up not too long after you saved me. What happened? The wither made you sick? Do you know what wither is? The wither? Of course. We've been No, Jesse. Just wither or wither sickness, I guess. I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. <laughs> ah! Creeper! <laughs> Grab my hand, pull you up! <clears throat> oh shit! No! Jesse! I just couldn't... I'm sorry. Jesse? Hey, you're the one that's sick. Take care of yourself first. I'll be okay. <coughs> okay. I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. <laughs> Poor Reuben. Let's go uh, pick up our amulet here.
very linear. We are in hallway mode. Alright, so we're already almost an hour into this stream. Like I was saying before, I hope that I finish the stream in two hours just to make uploading to uh, YouTube convenient, because if it's more than two hours, Twitch wants to break it up into two hour segments. Go peek through this door here. He must have something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Soren, is that you? It's Ivan or Ivor. <gasps> you trying to interfere with my plans again? I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here, so now you may find it back out again. Ivor, just calm down, okay? I think we're here for the same reason. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. No, um, I'm not using, no. like, any official bot like Nightbot or anything. Wait, but I... Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Petra, you escaped? <laughs> ah, foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. I should let the Order decide. They'll know what to do. That kind of justice is too good for this monster. I'm the only one who can stop the Witherstorm! Not you, not the Order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. Dude, you're the one who started this whole fucking mess. Stop me! You'll have to catch me first! Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> uh, I'm like the wind! God damn it. There's some Matrix shit going on now. No! You bastard! I'll go through you if I have to! <laughs> Don't tempt your fate. It didn't have to go this way, Jesse. You could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me! Now you... <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let him leave. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away with this. This one's on you, you puffed up fool. There's no time for this. Jesse! Petra! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. Stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. Fall. You have stopped nothing. A query. Have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? Think they can stop 
me that they can destroy the Wither Storm? But they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. What's up, Miss Pandy Purple? Oh, wow, that was a short episode. That was like one hour. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? That's what I'd like to know. Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or will they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. I have no idea when the next episode comes out, but episode two came out, like, what, two, three weeks after the first one? It wasn't that long ago that I streamed episode one for the first night. Well, most of us chose to leave at night. Looks like this time we uh, were popular, half and half, as far as popular and unpopular decisions. So, I've been enjoying pretty much everything I've ever played from Telltale Games. Like I was saying in the first stream, Telltale Games has definitely kind of made a change in how they, they approach games in general from what they used to do. They uh, used to um, make more point-and-click adventure games. Uh, like Stab and Max Season 1 and 2 was like that, Tales from Monkey Island was like that, um, Strong Bad's cool game, or awesome game for cool people, whatever the fuck it's called. That's more point and click adventure game. At some point, and I'm not sure exactly when because I haven't followed every single Telltale game ever made, um, they switched from the typical point and click adventure format to more of um, this, an interactive cartoon movie. It's cool. I just, uh, I, I enjoy it. I like the, the fact that your choices do actually have an impact. For example, episode two would have been completely different if in episode one we had decided to go uh, after Eligard as opposed to Magnus. So at some point I'm going to have to play this again. And I have no idea. I don't have a PlayStation 4. The, the latest console system I've ever had of, of anything was a PlayStation 2 and a Wii. And a 3DS. Um, don't have a Wii U. Don't have an Xbox One. Never had any Xbox whatsoever. Um, and uh, never had a PlayStation 3 or 4. Which is kind of shit. At some point I would like to... Uh, oh, Paul Rubens plays Ivor. Paul Rubens is Pee Wee Herman. It's crazy. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, uh, I, I, I both like and kind of dislike the direction uh, Telltale Games has gone with their later games. But I like almost every game they've ever made. And at some point, I'm going to be streaming Sam and Max. At some point, I'll be streaming um, Tales from Monkey Island, as well as maybe even go back and do like the uh, special, you know, remake enhanced version of Secret of Monkey Island, the, the first Monkey Island that actually started that whole trend. Sam and Max was also a remake of an older point-and-click series. I believe also made by Lucas Arts. Um, like going way back to like early Windows 3.1 and DOS days. I remember seeing Sam and Max like long fucking time ago on the computer. But uh, yeah, definitely I I enjoy the uh, games that I've played from Telltale's. I've so far now uh, streamed. Tales from Borderlands, which was awesome. Plan on playing through that again because that has a lot of choice-based consequences. Um, definitely enjoyed playing through this so far. At some point, I've heard a lot of good things about The Walking Dead. 
and even the uh, the wolf one. So, and, and uh, even the, the poker, you know, night games that they've made are pretty fun, what little I've played of them. Um, definitely interesting dialogue between the characters. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a short break for now. Get this uploaded to uh, YouTube as Chapter 2 of um, fucking Minecraft Story Mode. You guys, uh can find my youtube channel easy enough it's just youtube.com uh forward slash alloy i i played uh, some kingdom earlier this morning but i'm trying to keep uh, at least when i do a game like this and i if i have the intent to upload that to youtube i'm trying to keep you know uh, each stream very game specific rather than switch games up midstream like i i do but i still do those uh it's interesting the way it's going off the screen like that it obviously does not like 4-3 ratio resolutions. So, um... Yeah, we're all caught up with Minecraft for now. Hopefully they come out with episode 3 quickly. I'm gonna get this shit uploaded to YouTube, take a short break, maybe eat something, and I'll be back uh, soon. I still haven't decided if I'm going to stream the finale to Life is Strange tonight or get further into Tales of Zestiria or somehow manage to do both. At some point I know I'm going to be uh, watching some TV with my wife. She likes watching You, Me, and the Apocalypse, which is a British production and if you haven't seen or heard of it, I highly recommend it. It's um, a really cool show. It's got What's-His-Face, a uh, dude that played as one of the hobbits from Lord of the Rings. Uh, not Frodo or Bilbo, but one of the other ones. Can't remember who. And um, it's got some other interesting characters. It's basically about a weird group of survivors living in a bunker. And a uh, meteor is about to cli collide with the world and destroy all of mankind except for the few that were chosen to live in this bunker, which is Plan B. Um, really funny, kind of interesting. And then, uh, in addition to you, me, and the Apocalypse, Arrow will also be coming on tonight. I have to be honest, I'm not that impressed with this season of Arrow. But, I've really enjoyed Arrow up till now, and I've also got caught up in Flash, which is kind of a, a side story to Arrow, and a good show in its own regard. Uh, so, yesterday, last night I watched Flash, I enjoyed that, and uh, this week they also started doing Supergirl the series, which I watched the first episode of that, and I was very impressed with Supergirl. Um... Lots of good shows on TV right now that I'm trying to stay up with, like Minority Report, the series. That's actually pretty interesting. Limitless, the series, is pretty interesting. And uh, so Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I've got like two or three fucking hours a night of, of shit that I watch. Even Sunday night, um, I watch The Leftovers and um, Simpsons, of course. I've been watching Simpsons pretty much my entire life. Uh, I know I'm not religious about Bob's Burgers, but I kind of like watching that every now and then. And... Uh, what's the other new show I've been watching lately? My Crazy Ex-Girlfriend is actually pretty fucking funny. And uh, if you want to watch any of these shows, there's a, a website that I, I know of I recommend. And I'll put that up in the chat when I end the stream. But uh, you guys, you have a great night. I'll be back uh, probably about 6.30. Um, should be plenty of time. And by then I'll have decided if I'll be doing Tales of Zestiria or uh, the finale to Life is Strange. We'll figure that out. But yeah, I'll be back in about about 20 minutes, about 6.30 my time here. So we'll see you all soon.